Hello, Legionaries, and welcome to another battle of history. Today we'll be covering the Battle of Raphae. Probably butchering that name. But, <clears throat> following the death of Alexander the Great, the, his empire fractured into multiple states controlled by the Diarchy or Sucessors. Two of these, the Seleucid Empire and the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, repeatedly clashed for control of the Palestine. The Battle of Raphae was the most decisive of this encounter. Shall we get this on the road? I'll let this play out. BC, a century after the death of Alexander the Great. His successors still vie for dominance over the once prosperous empire. Over the past three years, the Seleucid king Antiochus III has pushed through Syria. Ptolemy IV has gathered an army of natives in an effort to meet him at Rathia. With the country in crisis, he knows that defeat would mean nothing less than the end of his dynasty in Egypt. All right. I believe we outnumber them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, by two. We outnumber them by two. What do they got? Four squads of companion cav, a general, two citizen cav, two elephants, four civil shield pikemen, two Greek bronze shield pikemen, five of those native pikemen, or whatever they're called, peltis, some more peltis, some slingers, and two archers. We got a general. Two cav, two native cav, two citizen cav, three citizen cav, a carcher, so we are outnumbered in the cav. Tomorrow. One squad of elephants, which are probably outnumbered by theirs, yep. Chariots, three pikemen, that's a big pike difference. Three swords, and whatever the, three swords, then, yeah, some other shit, but let's go. <clears throat> I'll let this play out. Antiochus. Conqueror of Syria and his Seleucid army now marches on Egypt. Ptolemy has amassed a large and varied force to meet the Seleucid threat. However, Ptolemy's Atlas elephants are panicked by the larger Indian breed commanded by Antiochus. They will not bear being close to them in the coming battle. Ptolemy must be victorious at Rathia, or his kingdom will surely fall. <clears throat> All right, boys. Let's see what we're dealing with here. My lord, the Seleucid forces approach us. Our elephants will not stand being close to those of the enemy. Please avoid them at all costs. All right, let's uh, get our boys spread out here to the front. Chosen pikemen. Ooh, fancy. Yes. Some uh, clergy pikemen. Want to form a steady wall, boys. Give me a steady wall. Okay. Galatian Royal Guard, eh? God damn, these guys are freaking sexy looking. All right, let's uh, let's get some of our boys. Um, keep you off the side. Let's form a dedicated skirmish line behind them. Of just infantry, and then yeah, get our boys into hoplite walls, pike walls, hoplite walls. Oh, we got some Cretan archers. That's kind of nice. Uh, actually, yeah. So let's form a, a line like this. We'll back these boys up in like a second line. We'll some carrying axe in between them. We're gonna kind of form a very dense formation. Um, just kind of hope this works. Chariots. Guess you can stay there. Let's put all our citizen cavalry here on the side of their companion cab. Oh, that's just a lot of companion cab, and I don't like that. Uh, Three and light cavalry is just gonna get absolutely stomped on. But let's get them some chariots. Keep our royal squadron in the back. Should we do a little scouting force with some camels? 
Okay, this is kind of uh, a little touchy. Okay, get you over here. Let's get you over here. Let's get you right there. Get you right there. Get you right there. All right. Just kind of want to pull him back. Oh yeah, you just, you just keep running away. Yeah, just keep on running away. We don't need to deal with that. You just keep running. And let's, uh, battle rip? Nah. Okay, yeah, elephants fall back. Infantry here, infantry here. Oh, God, oh. Oh. Peltis, light those boys up. Peltis, light. We need to take out those things at all costs. Just freaking. Oh. Let's go, let's go into the fray. Oh, they look so freaking badass. Alright. Um, Chariots, you gotta keep moving, boys. You gotta keep moving. Uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, alright, fine. <laughs> Let's watch these chariots going through. Oh my god. Oh, it's, oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, it's a slaughter. We're just going to watch this for a second. Alright, uh, but we're going to pause it for just one moment. And I say we just... We are freaking cruising on these fools. They are no match for us. Well, maybe they are over there, but whatever. Uh. Well, shall we watch this charge? Oh my god, it's so glorious. Uh. Oh, they're just melting through everyone. Well, sort of. Chariots aren't as effective as they used. Oh, never mind, I stand corrected. Oh, just run them on over. Run them all over. <laughs> Do our Cretan archers have anyone left? Alright, yeah, archers. Please, fall back. Fall back. Oh, we should watch this charge. Come on, chariots. Oh, I love having scythe chariots. Oh my god, it's bloody beautiful. Oh, you freaking are, you guys are freaking done. I didn't mean to do that, but I mean, it works. Well, I guess we can watch this fight go on, like, jeez. Pretty handily.
Uh, guys? Oh, oh, oh. say that went by rather quickly. Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> this will end that battle. So 4,571 of our troopers versus 4,481 of theirs. We took 611 losses. They beat 2,508. Like, our chariots